Okay, so this is a video about <clears throat> loading, instru firing instructions, loading and operation of the 338 Lapua sniper rifle, rubber band rifle. And this is it here, a little bit about it. Uh, it has adjustable bipod legs. So I'll just undo this wing nut right here. Loosen that wing nut up. And then tighten her back up. There we are. And they can also be adjustable up and down this way for aiming purposes. It also has a removable magazine. The, the uh, magazine release notch is right here. Just push up with it on your finger. Take the magazine right out to put it back in. Start with a forward in first, and then snap it in like that. It is a bolt action, and it's got a functional scope, and it also has a carrying hand handle. With loading the uh, rifle, the first thing is pull the bolt back to the rear. Then, the rotor is right here. Put the rubber band onto the rotor. The first one, first rubber band that you put on is a little bit tricky to get on. Just gotta have to get it in there just right. And then once you have it onto the rotor like so, then you can stretch the rubber band out all the way to the site, and it goes right onto the site. This is, this takes a size 125 rubber band, size 125. The next thing you do is rotate your rotor back 180 degrees. Be careful when doing this on this rifle because there is a lot of tension until you hear a click. Once you hear the click, you're good and you can repeat the process. You can load up to four rubber bands onto this rifle at a time. See, the second one's a lot easier than the first. And the same way, rotate your rotor again, 180 degrees until you hear the click. Again, be careful when doing this because there is a lot of tension in here. There's the click. Your third rubber band, same way. Right on there, stretch her out to there. Rotate your rotor. Pushing down with your thumb is the easiest way that I figured out. Get it down and then you can pull it back up with your finger and turn it, click. Now the last and final rubber band, the fourth rubber band that you put on, you put it on the same way The only difference is, do not rotate your rotor on the last rubber band. Just leave it just like it is. Put your bolt forward, lock her down, and it's ready to fire. So you fire, and then work your bolt that advances the next rubber band to be fired. That's it. Thank you.